Hey guys, your tech admin here. This uh, townhouse that I'm renting came with a rather nice uh, wood burning fireplace insert, but uh, unfortunately it didn't come with a blower fan. So while burning wood in it is quite nice and it looks pretty, it doesn't actually put out uh, heat as well as it should. And I, I tried to find a blower motor for this particular insert, but apparently the company that made this insert has since gone out of business and acquiring a blower motor specific to this fireplace would uh, would be quite expensive, if not impossible. And I, I know there exists uh, universal blower motors that you can put in these inserts, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. So I was looking for a DIY way to make a blower motor, basically, and uh, I think I found the solution. Without a blower, my fireplace has pretty much been relegated to a fun way to dispose of junk mail, as you can see. What I've got here are a few of these 120 volt uh, cooling fans and these came out of little wall mount uh, equipment boxes that we use at work. We, uh, we don't have a use for the fans because the equipment doesn't get that hot so we just take them out and uh, I asked if I could take them home and put them to some use. So there's the uh, information, they're 110 volt actually, um, 60 hertz AC, uh, 0.25 amps and they draw about 21 watts of power. So uh, I decided that I could actually chop these uh, power cables off of these individual fans and, uh, and hook them together into sort of a chain like this. And uh, as you can see, I've kind of got the, the whole thing kind of held together with zip ties, uh, which actually works really well. This whole thing's sturdy and doesn't sag a whole lot. So I'm going to finish wiring all these together, and then I'm going to try to find a way to mount them into the bottom of the fireplace. Alright, I finished wiring them up. I went with um, butt splices instead of soldering because of um, I was worried about the heat and vibration. I just didn't trust a solder connection for that. So uh, butt splices all the way down. And I actually ran out of my red butt splices and I had to use blue to finish up. But um, as you can see, I actually put some uh, heat shrink tubing in between each splice and that's just to kind of hold the wires in place. Uh, all in all, I think it turned out pretty well, so uh, not much further to say. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. Here we go. There you go. It's actually very loud, um, but that's fine. I went back and added some zip ties just to tidy things up a bit. I'm going to add one on the side here as sort of a little string relief for the uh, the main uh, plug. This particular insert does actually have an outlet under the uh, base of the fireplace, but unfortunately, uh, according to my meter, this one's not actually hooked up, so we're going to have to find another way to power the fans. So here they are installed, and again, I just use zip ties to hold them in place. And that's because this is a rental property. I don't really want to put anything in uh, more or less permanently. When I move out here soon, I'm probably going to take these fans with me anyway. So um, they're in there pretty secure. Everything seems to be okay. So uh, I'm going to power them on and see how they do. Okay, so they're on now. And uh, I can feel quite a lot of suction in this area here. And up here, as you can see, it is putting out quite a bit of air. So it is working. Okay, so here we are with the cover reinstalled, and as for the power, I just rented out this little hole here to a little power strip. Like I said, this is just a temporary setup, nothing permanent, so that solution works fine for me. And when it's not in use, I can actually push the cable back up inside the, the space there to keep it out of the way. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out, even though compared to an actual blower motor, it's obviously very inefficient and super loud, but uh, in the end... I made it and it was free and it actually works. So that's pretty much what this whole thing was about. Thanks for watching and until next time guys, take it easy.